hi guys welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing well i'm not gonna address the elephant in the room if you know you know if you don't know it is what it is but um this is a really random one like i'm not prepared i haven't prepared anything as i normally would um when i'm doing like my wednesday quotes and whatnot but um, this is literally raw and random but i don't know i just feel like you know to take up my phone and record and you know just talk but um basically i'm just in this season yeah where like a lot of things are not going well like quite a lot <laughs> a lot but um you know like i don't know there's just so much chaos i don't know what to do i don't know where to go i basically don't know my left and right in short and you know i'm just seeing people progressing i feel stuck and whatnot i know already you know made a video where i was talking about not comparing yourself um i'm not doing that yet i'm also saying that i'm not where i'm supposed to be i'm not where i want to be and um you know looking at others not i'm comparing myself to them but looking at others um you know that realization is even coming more that you know sir this is not like you have plans for your life you have goals you know when to you like you know where you want to be you know where you want to go but you're not doing it and you know it's just this spirit of like stagnant like i just feel stagnant i don't even know if it's a spirit but if it is then yeah but i just feel stagnant in all i'm doing and i don't know like there's just a lot going on within me and myself and um i'm not even here to talk about it because i haven't spoken to people that i'm meant to be talking about it. i'm not gonna do it on youtube do you get what i mean <laughs> but um but also like do you guys ever know when like do i not, not not that you know but have you ever been in that situation where you have the answer or you have the solution to your problem yet it's so hard to actually assess that solution or it's so hard to actually do what you're supposed to do and it's it's just so weird like i know my problems the problems i know the solution and i know there's only one solution um well there's quite a few but there's a main solution and even though i know the solution which is to go to god to actually seek him first as the Bible says, seek him first the kingdom um of god and others righteousness what the other things eh mercy seek it first the kingdom of god and his righteousness and everything will be added unto you like you know like you have that solution the solution is just to come to him the solution is to pray you know that david said that you know we are men ought to pray and faint not and i would say that you know um he gives strength to the the weary to those who are you know who are faint who don't have strength you know when you have that's like you know that solution but yet you're still not doing it and i feel like that's the situation where i am in right now and it's just it's weird and i hate it and it's just like like in court i don't know what to do but i do know what to do at the same time it's just so hard like at times it's just so hard to pray like don't get me wrong i pray but i don't really pray with intention i don't really pray and pray the topics that i know that if i pray those topics that like, it will help me i'm just you know fulfilling all righteousness you know if read the bible and pray every day so as a christian you know i'm meant to be praying so i'm praying i'm meant to read my bible so i'm reading my bible but then ask me why i did my bible i will not be able to tell you because i've forgotten because i was just reading for the sake of and that's i feel like that's the stage that that's the season that i am in and i've been it before i feel like and i by the grace of god i was able to come up i feel like this is even like stronger and you know i've been having so like many um dreams and you know nightmares so it's like i know what the problem is but i feel like in the midst of all this chaos um god is still talking but it's really still talking to me there's a scripture that's been laying on my heart for the longest for the past month yeah because I, I i was here when the scripture came then i went to italy and i've been back for italy for some time literally anyways in 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 long short like in long short eh, english story like, like eh long story short there's this um scripture that's been laid on my heart for a long time and it's in Gen jeremiah 29 that's a lie jeremiah 13 verse 29 it says that you know the people that worship me with their heart but they're worshiping with their lips but um their heart their heart is far and this as this scripture has like has been ringing on my mind for long i've been thinking about the scripture for long and i'm just like what is even going on like why is god telling me this script? and it's funny because i know he will actually send people to speak to me and when people are speaking to me they'll also make they will also be mentioned the scripture like, they won't mention the actual scripture you know they said like, your heart sir your heart is your heart yeah, yeah, yeah. and i'm just like god 
what are you saying like i know what you're saying he's telling me that i'm far from him like he's telling me that i'm worshiping yes with my lips i'm i'm singing his worship songs i'm you know praying but my heart is far and that's where all this problem are coming from and that's the reason why i'm in this situation that's the reason i'm in this season is because i'm only doing it with my heart but i'm not really seeking god as, as i'm supposed to like my heart is really far and that's not what he wants he wants my heart he can't operate through me if my heart is far he can't do Chuck Dill is quiet if my heart is not with him and in his hands. Once you give your heart to God, that's when he'll be able to use you. That's where he'll be able to direct you. When you're in the midst of the chaos, he'll be able to tell you, Sarah, go left. Sarah, go, um, go right. Go straight. Don't go back. But because my heart is not with him, all I'm doing is going back. I'm actually sitting down. I'm not even moving. Going back, I'm okay. I'm actually not even moving at all. And that is because I'm not seeking him. And <laughs> this was, I think it was last night or the night before. I was just like, oh God, I'm so tired, you know, I'm I'm so tired, I'm trained, I need strength, give me strength. And you know the Holy Spirit, yeah. <laughs> I believe the Holy Spirit, you know, he he can be a girl because you know like girls can be very cheeky, yeah. <laughs> As I was saying this, like the Holy Spirit was like, but the Bible says that those who wait upon the Lord, <laughs> they shall renew their strength. So me, I was just there saying, you know, the Bible, but the Bible says that, you know, you give strength, the Bible says that, 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 that. But he was like, you're missing the point, bro. You're missing the point, sis. You're not waiting upon me. So then how can I give you strength if you're not waiting upon me? So like, I was just like, damn, you didn't have to come this harsh on me. I was just pouring out my heart. There was no need for that. But there was need. Because if I'm not doing what he's telling me to do, then there's no point for me to even ask him. Like he's telling me, first of all, that my heart is far. And he's also telling me that I'm not waiting upon him. What do I even expect for him to help me if I'm not doing what he's asking me to do? It's like, you can't disobey your parents, your mother, your 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 father, and then ask him that can I have a candy. Like, bro, you don't instead of going tidy up your room and you're there coming up and say, can I have a candy? Unless you go and tidy up the room, that candy, you're not going to have it. And that's what God is telling me. Like, unless my heart is in tune with him, unless my heart is where he wants me to be my heart is in his hands and he's using me wherever i'm asking is like quite in vain and i don't want anybody to come and say oh god is wicked because that's what your parents would do like you're not cleaning your room you're not having a candy you're not going out to play with the girls or you're not going to you know whatever you want you have to do what they tell you first and then whatever you ask he would do it so god wants me to to, to matter god wants my heart to be right and my heart to be right, my heart to be with him, worship him with my heart. Because the Bible said that, you know, there will come a point that where the Father will require everybody to worship in spirit and in truth. And you can't worship in spirit and in truth if your heart is not there. you just be blabbing, just be talking, Father, I praise you, you'll be crying. Because boy, sis, oh, I've done that a lot. Like, I used to love um all night, all night prayer. Because, I don't know, that's when all the emotions will come out. So I'll be crying and people will be thinking, hey, the sister is really in the spirit. Like, she's really she's really worshipping God. And God is up there doing like, look at her. Look at this fool. Everybody's thinking that she's worshipping, including herself. She's thinking that she's worshipping me. But she ain't. She's just emotionally. And she's just crying for no reason. And it's like, I used to love it because, I, I mean, I used to love honest because that's how I'm, you know, we, we just worship songs. I'm singing. I'm in my head and like, I'm there, up there. But I'm not. And that's what's happening right now as well. I'm not where I'm meant to be spiritually. And it's causing all these problems. It's causing all this confusion, this chaos that is around me. And it's awful. Like, it's actually awful. Like, imagine leaving the room full of mess. Like, the room is just a disaster. But you're not leaving in that room just for a second. It's like, okay, I'm going to clean up later. But you're leaving in that room for a long time. You yourself, like, you will not feel at peace. Like, you don't even know how, where to lay your head, where to sleep, where to stand. And the solution is to clean up, in it, Clean up the room, tidy up the room, and you'll be fine. So the solution is God is telling me, like, clean up your heart. Says, get your heart straight, get your heart right, and come to me. Once you get your heart right, come to me. And then we can reason in it. We can we, we can speak about what's going on with you. What what is it that you need? Then I can give you the strength that you're asking me. Then I can give you what you're asking me. Then I can help you with this. Then I can give you the solution to this. Then I can give you the direction with this. But clean your heart. And that's one thing our God has given us as well is the Holy Spirit to help us. That's the amazing thing. You know, you can say that God, I don't know how to clean this heart, this mess. I don't know how to clean my heart. 
So Holy Spirit, I need your help and he's faithful in helping. So um, I really want to encourage anybody who is going in, who is facing a situation like mine, where it's like, there's no direction, there's, you feel lonely, um, you feel, and I feel like the word is just craw crawling. Is it crawling? Eh. And it was just like the word is coming to you, like the word is just ending. <laughs> um, I just want you to know that what God is telling you and me is that we need to worship him with our heart. We need to get our heart straight. We need to get our heart to him. And um and everything will fall into place. Like, you know, everything will fall into place. Now, you know, that's it. Those who wait upon the Lord they shall renew their strength. Like shall renew their might. They'll be strong. And then everything, you know, um that scripture where it's saying all things work together for the good of those who love him. You can't love somebody if your heart is messed up. You can't go to them if your heart is messed up. You can't request anything if your heart is messed up. So, um, sister, brother, this is a lot of encouragement for myself and for you is to actually, let's get our heart straight. Let's get our heart straight and let's get close to God and everything we're going through, it will be well. Like, everything will fall into place. So, like, because of this chaos that, I mean, it's even affecting my YouTube channel. I, I haven't been posting and that is because I can't come and fake it. Do you know what I mean? I can't come and say, everything's going well. <laughs> Praise the Lord. And I have this message for you. Where about me, myself? No, no. The message is not, it's not hitting me. And, you know, I'm not praying. I'm not reading. I'm not doing what I need to do. I'm not waiting. I'm not fasting. What's the point for me to come here and then pretend everything is right? That's one thing I don't want to do. I know people do it, but that's not, that's not what I want to do. Um, yeah, I'm rambling as usual. But yeah, I hope this um video encourages you. And you know, we are almost at the end of the year. Let's let's end this year, right? Let's end it right. Let's fight all the demons that we need to fight in ourselves and let's get our heart straight and right before the Lord. And everything we have three, three, four, three months to the end of the year. We can do this. We can do this. The devil knows the prayer that you prayed at the beginning of the year that's why he's attacking you he knows the covenants he made with god at the, end of, at the beginning of the year that's why he's attacking you he doesn't want you to end the year with what you prayed for he doesn't want to end the year with the covenant that you made with god and that's why he's attacking you so brother sister get your heart right and fight the devil don't fight people don't say nobody loves me you know don't please 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 is is you and the devil sort yourself out by the grace of god um but yeah um yeah, I hope this <laughs> this video blessed somebody and I will see you on my next one. Bye.